All right, good morning, everyone. My name is Georgette. I'm with FWH Associates. I am an engineer and I'm also our director of marketing. And thank you guys for joining us this morning for our Women's Leadership Committee interviews, where we've chosen you all because you have been nominated um, as part of the CAI New Jersey Awards. So we wanted to take a moment to say thank you guys for coming on this morning. Congratulations on your nomination. And we have a question to ask you all. So, uh, Megan, we're going to go ahead and get started with you. Uh, thanks for joining us this morning. Give us a little bit of an introduction of who you are, where you're, what company you work for, what you do for CAI, and then I will pose our question to you this morning, which is, what would you tell your 21-year-old self uh, today? Awesome. Um, I'm Megan Elgard. I'm with the Falcon Group. I am the Director of Business Development here. Um, I've been with Falcon a little over six years now, um, and I grew, I started from the front desk and grew all the way up to the director. Um, so I'm very happy to take on this new role since December. So pretty new for me. Um, CAI, we've been involved with since Falcon's been around, basically. Um, so I've been involved with that for six years. Um, we attend all the events. We sponsor. Uh, we love it. We love the connections with it. Um, and yeah, so what would I tell my 21-year-old self? Um, that to be more confident, I guess, um, you're beautiful, be more confident, you're gonna make mistakes, but you're gonna learn from them. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to think of what else. Just push yourself. And if you don't like something, you still have time to make an adjustment. When I was 21, I was, I don't, I was selling cars on the internet and it was very hard. And I was like, nah, this isn't something I wanna do. And I made a change and I'm here now and I love it. Um, I found my career. So yeah, don't be, take the risk, make the change. Um, don't be scared is what I would tell myself. Great. Thank you. Well, Jessica. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jessica, good morning. Thanks for joining Hi. us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Um, so my name is Jessica Baker. I'm an attorney with Hill Wallach. I've been with Hill Wallach for a little over four years. Um, within CAI, I serve as the vice chair of the FAST committee. Um, and what I would tell my 21-year-old self, I think I'd have, actually have a lot to say, but I think a key thing I would have told myself was the power of networking. And it's not just about you know, meeting people who could, you know, help your career or get your business, but also what you can learn from other people, the, the good and the bad, you know, learning about what other people have experienced in their career is really powerful and really great advice. Awesome. I love that. That's actually very true. Um, I tell people all the time how the way I got into my career now was through networking accidentally is how I met my boss. And that's how I was able to transition to where I've been now for almost 10 years. So I think that's a really great point. Catherine, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Um, so my name is Catherine Henriques. I've been with RCP Management going on, I think my seventh year now. I started um, with RCP. I'm a portfolio manager now. And um, uh, I guess what I would tell myself at 21 is that, you know, when I first started off in college, I felt like college was going to teach me everything I needed to know. And I couldn't have been more wrong. And I do value that I have my education. I now know, I now think that it's more about learning life things rather than it was just academic, which is why to me, it's crucial to keep learning and investing in ourselves as we age, because the world is just going to, the world is never going to stop evolving. And I don't think we should either you know, and, you know, maybe we thought we would be millionaires by now. And, you know, I, you know, perhaps we even thought that we would have our hearts set on something, being married, having kids. We all have part of that part of our lives that don't line up with our hopes and dreams. No one else's life is as perfect as, you know, we all hope for, but you know, we all have disappointments and I think that it's important, you know, through loving our jobs and, and doing what we do. And I think when we share what we know, what we've learned and what we're still working on, people actually do appreciate and respond. And I've enjoyed, you know, sharing a few of my experiences of my life 
here and there, but it's like sharing, you know, our struggles and the massive and positive response it inspires that show for sure the value of opening up about our own experience. It might feel a little self-centered, but or even scary, but hearing other people get vulnerable and share their struggles and successful has really helped me in this industry. I think you raised such a great point. I had two great points really is like the first I had made a Facebook post when I was in college maybe. And I was like, oh, by 28, I'm going to be married. And you know, I had like, I had like this like laundry list of things that I was going to do. And then it came up on my Facebook memories. And I was like, oh goodness, Georgia, what were you? Th- <laughs> you know? And I think we can all kind of relate to that, that where we thought we would be you know, in high school, you know, I was like, oh, by 20, by 25, I'll be this. And by no. And so I think the second point that you raised about being open about, you know, how, you know, we had projected our life to go on this specific path. And obviously it, it, it doesn't go on that path because so many things get in the way, whether it's stopping school, whether it's going back to school, whether it's life experiences that kind of have to, you have to put your things on pause and being open about those kind of whether it's a setback or whether it's just a change in course um, allows other people to be like, you know what, I, I think I'm doing okay. And we all are probably in a different spot than we had envisioned ourselves, whether it's good or bad, or it's just, like I said, on a different course. And I think that that sharing that vulnerability with a lot of other people makes you really relatable. And it kind of makes it seem like, you know, we're, we're all on this path together. So I think it's a really good point. Absolutely. Kristen, Christina, thanks for joining us this morning. My pleasure. Thanks so much for having me. Uh, So I'm Christina Munson. I'm president and managing partner at RCP Management Company. Um, And I'm also currently serving on the board of directors for CAI. If I could go back and tell myself, so I actually started working at RCP in customer service when I was 23. And if I could go back and tell myself someday you're going to be president of this company, I'm pretty sure I would have laughed myself out of the room, (laughs) right? Um, and, And if I could go back and tell myself anything, I think it would just be to, you know, just keep believing in yourself and, and keep your head down and work hard. Um, because you can't even imagine what you can be capable of in five years, 10 years, you know, 15, or I'm almost at 20 years in the industry now. And I never really had, um, aspirations for, you know, running a company, uh, at, in my twenties. And uh, as my career evolved um, and I had those opportunities through networking, through mentorship, through, you know, powerful, uh, empowered women that were leaders in the industry. And I looked around and little by little, I went, you know what, I can do this. And, and I think just having that faith in yourself of going, you know, I, I got this and you show up every day and you get the job done. And, uh, and I think that's all you can, you can hope for and all you can tell your, you know, your past self. Excellent. I think that's a really good point is um, I don't think, especially, I mean, myself, like being an engineer with like, I'm sure we all kind of like walked into like industries where we weren't really expecting to be. And um, I wish I could have told my 21 year old self, like, you're going to be okay. Like in this like male dominated field of engineers, like I was two of 28 kids or two of 28 college students who were female. And so like, I wish I could have like told myself, like, just have faith, like you'll be okay. And like, I wish I could have just like shouted that at myself back then. So I think that's a really great point. Um, so you guys all raised some really wonderful points today, and we're going to be sharing this with our women's leadership committee. Um, so I'll be sharing this recording with them. So I want to thank you guys all for your time this morning and say that you guys all really brought about great points. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick, thank you. We're going to stop recording.